Hello everybody, this is PD from Bergsberg Arcade at BergsbergArcade.com and here we are with the tutorial on how to create a button using the NGUI uh, asset pack for Unity. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually head over to Google and we're just going to look up NGUI. It's usually the first one. And I'm going to download the free edition. Uh, now he does have some documentation here. I do recommend that you go read this. I definitely watch these first four videos as I'm just going to assume you already have watched those. And I'm going to go ahead and download the valuation copy here. Now, um, let me see, does it talk here? Yeah, it, it tells you this is for evaluation and or educational use. And this is the version I'm going to be using for this video series, even though it is an older version than what's currently out on the asset store. Everything that I make uh, during this series will work with the newest version, but the newest version does actually have a lot of bug fixes in it and uh, upgrades, other options for the way you do things, you know, enhancements. But uh, I want people to be, be able to follow along quite easily, so I'm going to go ahead and use the free version. Now, I've already gone ahead and downloaded this. It's in my downloads, so let's go ahead. I'm just going to open up Unity. I've already created a brand new project. There's absolutely nothing in it. And I'm just going to start off by importing that package. So import package. I'm going to import a custom package. I uh, have to go to my downloads and I'll go ahead and grab that. And I'm just going to make sure everything's selected and I'm just going to hit import. This will take a few seconds to actually import everything into my project. And it will give me a little folder here saying NGUI. And there'll be a few subfolders in that. Now, since I recommend that you actually watch those four videos first, I'm just going to assume you actually understand the folder structure here. So I'm going to go ahead and close that. I'm going to go ahead and create two folders of my own. The first one will be for scripts. And the second one will be for scenes. So I'm going to put each example in their own scene. Just so it's a little easier to follow along. And I'm going to go ahead and save the current scene I'm on. I want to make sure it's in the scene folder. And uh, to be honest, I'm just, the first scene I'm actually going to be working on will be a vital bar. Uh, yeah, we'll just call it vital bar. And this would be your static vital bar that you see up in the corner. Uh, but before I go ahead and actually create that, I want to create a, another script that uh, basically just puts a button on the screen. And when I click it, it interacts with uh, the scene that I'm currently working with. Now this has become a little bit more apparent in the later videos, but I wanted to get this one set up first. So first thing I'm going to do is delete our camera. I'm going to go ahead and come up to the NGY menu. Now this is all shown in the... A documentation and down here <laughs> I don't want to dock it anywhere I just want it to be floating I guess I am going to dock it all right so we're going to go ahead and uh, the default layer I'm actually going to create another layer for my 2d GUIs and I'm not sure what I want to call it I'm, go I'm going to keep it as a 2d layer the layer itself I'm going to add a layer and I want to call it now keep in mind you only get 32 of these things and the first eight are used on you so I'm going to call this 2D uh, GUI and this is where I'm going to keep all of my 2D GUI stuff. Alright so we'll go ahead we'll set the layer to that so I'm just going to start off with a simple 2D I'm going to create my UI. So here we go we got that uh, first thing I like to do is usually come up to the camera and make sure that the fill is set to usually I'd like to do a color to start off with uh, just just makes it easier for me I, I like it better that way anyway I'm gonna come down and make my first widget and this is something I do like to have down here so I'm gonna go ahead and add the widget and drag it we'll dock it down here I'm just gonna keep the tool UI tool down here as well so we got to set up the atlas and the font. So I'm going to come down to the GUI menu, go into examples, atlases, and I'm just going to use the fantasy one. It's first. So we'll go ahead. We'll drag our fantasy atlas. Now this here should not be new to anyone. As like I said, you should have watched those other videos. So we're going to go ahead and create a button. And here it is right here. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and use the a bevel outline it's going to be a child of panel and there we go there's our button uh, doesn't really matter I'm just gonna actually leave it in the center for now 
as I will be making a prefab of this. And uh, let's see, I do want to change what's displayed on it. Uh, the colors are fine. If we actually start it up, I don't really care about the colors. That's not what I'm after. Uh, let's open it up, go to the label. And I'm going to call this uh, driver. And like I said, this sole purpose of this button is when I click it, I want it to activate the scene, basically start the game. So we'll go ahead, we'll save that off, and I'm going to create a script. So let me shrink this down. First script. It'll be C sharp, uh, just like everything else I do. And I'm just going to call this driver one. And we'll go ahead, we'll open this up in mono develop. All right. And I will not need an update. I'm probably not even going to need start, but what I am going to need is a function called on click. And inside of here, uh, basically is the code that starts your whole scene up when I click this button. Uh, so let's go ahead, we'll go back to the button. We're going to take this driver one, we'll drag it on. Now he covers how to make a button on his site, but I just wanted to quickly go over it because we are going to be using these to, like I said, uh, drive our scene. I'm just going to quickly make sure that it does work. So we'll go ahead, uh, just click it, and we'll see in the console over here. So it does work. Great. I'm going to go ahead and save this off as a prefab. But before I do that, as you can hear, my son's in the background. He just got up. Uh, I'm going to call this, um, I'm going to keep it as a button, driver one. So there will be multiple ones of this. Basically, the only thing that's really going to change is the uh, script attached to it. So actually, yeah, let's just call it uh, driver. All right, so I'm going to make a prefab of that. But before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and create a folder for it. And we'll just shrink it down. I want to make sure everything's zeroed out up here. I'm just going to go ahead, drop it into my prefabs. And uh, that's it. In the next video, we'll actually go ahead and actually start using that. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.